I've always loved fashion. And when she contacted me to create my own clothing collection with their Shinex program, what? of course I said yes. It will be releasing on August the 21st, so I only have one month to create 11 designs. There's not much time to waste, so today I'm going to create my own fashion line from start to finish. Let's do it. But I've never done anything of this magnitude before. So first, let's watch some fashion shows to get inspired and build a mood board for my own collection. This will help me to have a clear idea of what I want the look and feel of the collection to be. And now that it's ready, let's print it big. Okay, now that my mood board is printed and I'm back home, I can give you a closer look at it. This will be some of the biggest inspirations and visual references for it. So to avoid getting off track later in the process, let's paste it on my wall. And everything seems to be ready to go. So without further ado, let's start working on our first design. Meet Lapis, one of the three dogs I own. And now she's going to become the face of our first item. But what is it going to be? Easy question. Of course, it's going to be a sweater. But before I start, let me give you a little bit more of context. Last year, I went to Europe for a month. And when I was in Amsterdam, I dropped some sketches around the city for you to grab. One of which was this drawing of Lapis. That being said, let's use it as reference for our first item. The idea I have for this one is making the dog wrap around the sweater. That will make it way more unique, but also more difficult to design. Planning is done, so now let's clean it up using the iPad Pro. As always, I'm going to use Procreate to make my digital designs. Now that it's ready, we can move forward to the next step, which is creating the mock-up. And just like that, my first design is finally done. 10 more left to go and only 21 more days left to finish them. Let's not waste any more time and let's start working on the second one. But before I do, I need to ask you two questions. What do these three images have in common? Well, they were all painted by him, Jean-Michel Basquiat. And apart from his paintings, what is also stylish from Basquiat? His haircut. So for my next item, I'm making a jacket featuring a character with Basquiat's haircut. And just like records, it's going to be drawn in two perspectives, side A and B. I'm excited for this one, so let's just jump into it. And since this one is going to be one of the most complex designs of the collection, I need to be very careful in the sketching stage. Now that that's done, let's take a picture of it and move forward to the next step. Adding some sexy lines using the iPad Pro. Now that sexy lines are done, let's add some color to the drawing, clean myself up, eat some mango, and lastly, create the mock-up of our design. And just like that, side A and B is finally done. We only have 18 days to create 9 more designs, so let's hurry up a little bit. Next up, the skate shirt. For the fourth one, I took a bit of inspiration from a painting I made 12 years ago. And who doesn't love a good custom zipper? Another one to the list. But just as I was setting that up, the arch block hit hard. And I had no idea what to draw next. But in that moment, as if it was magic, someone knocked my door. So I opened it and I had just received some mysterious packages from Shin. Honestly, I'm very excited about this, so let's see what they contain. Okay, these are some pieces from Shin's existing apparel, and they should work as inspiration on what to design next. 
They sent quite a lot of items, so here are a few of my favorites. And I think I already know what I want to create next. So I sketched it out and analyzed all the details. A few hours passed and after a lot of trial and error, my plan is complete. So now I just need some reference pictures. So I took those and added a little bit of style. And now I can proudly present to you Gox World. For our next item and our first accessory, I need to show you one of my old drawings. Because this is where the frog earrings were born. And now they are going to become a reality. But that's not it. I also created a whole animation and some other items to carefully place them in a jacket and some pants. Creating the element set. There is only one more design left to go, so now I think we can get some well-deserved rest and finish that tomorrow. But since it was already 8pm and my sleep time is at 6, I only had one thing left to do, brushing my teeth. And then I went straight to bed to get a good night of sleep. But when I woke up, something really strange had happened. I wasn't in my house and not even in my city. So the only thing I could do now was going out and try to find out where I was. So I walked around, took some pictures but got no answers. And then out of the blue in a park, a gentleman approached me just to ask me this question. Bro, ¿me podrías enseñar cómo hacer dibujos otra vez? Claro, claro, eh, déjate explico. Primero, todo empieza con tu boceto, pero no un boceto normal, un boceto feo. Pero no nos vamos a quedar con el boceto feo, ahorita hay que limpiarlo un poquito. Después, haces tus líneas y también tus sexy lines. Luego agrega un poquito de color, tus sombras y uno que otro detallito. Y así de fácil, una vez que hiciste todo eso, ya tienes tu personaje listo. Espero te haya ayudado. No, muchísimas gracias, me sirvió mucho. Gracias a ti. Un gusto de él. I ultimately never found out where I was, but thanks to Gael's question, I discovered what I would like my final design to look like. My brothers, I proudly present to you Anatomy of a Character. Now that my collection is complete, we can start working on the last three details. The neck label, the hand tag, and the packaging. So, let's just jump into it. Neck label done, let's work on the hand tag. Now, just the packaging left to go. And after a month of working on it, it's finally done. Contemporary street work. A clothing collection by Gox. Holy shit.